Ah, a special mail time today. Well, special for me and maybe not for you. Let's see what we got here. So, I'm filming, filming this mail time on my Canon G7X Mark II. That's the one I've been using for since April, since I started vlogging. And I've been eagerly awaiting this one, the Mark III. See that? It says three. So, this uh, camera is a 4K camera. We can film it for, in 4K at 30 FPS. It can film at 1080 um, and uh, at uh, 120 frames per second. That means I'm going to have some slow-mo facility with this one. Well, let's open it up. We got our warranty card. I'll fill that out. We got our instruction booklet in I don't know how many languages. I'll never read that anyway. We got our compatible battery charger. That's nice. So I can use existing batteries. We have a battery that I need to charge. And we have the camera itself. A little carrying strap. I'm not going to use that. Ah. So it's um, about the same size, a little thicker. It's got a little indentation here. It makes it easier to handle right there, I guess. It looks about the same to me. This is a little little bigger. So um, let's uh, power it up. What? There's no memory card. Okay. So fortunately I haven't prepared and I yesterday bought the only one I could get. 64 gigabyte um, standard SD card. It's an Extreme Plus scan disk. You want this one for the faster write time. Uh, 90 megabits per second. So when you're handling 4K, that's probably going to be the better option for you. And that'll that cost. Oh, what did it cost? It wasn't very much. It was forty-nine dollars, I think, something like that. And if I look in my battery case, this is my traveling cable battery case. Let's see if I've got a battery ready to go here. I do. I've got a Canon battery. And we'll put this one in my charging system. So it will be ready to go. My charging bay is over here. It's this complex of things. Yeah. Okay. Continuing on with this uh, surgery. Get the memory card out of there. Put our battery in. Snaps in this place. And get our. And I'll do a field test. Since I have the Mark II, which I'm using right now, and this new Mark III, what we'll do is we'll put it through a few paces and we'll try out then the advanced features. Make sure we're not locked. That looks okay. We're ready to power it up. Well, 
There it is. To apply effects, press the Creative Assist button. Hide next time. Well, look at that. I can see myself twice. Well, I'm going to show how to use the Canon G7X Mark III new menu system. This is the Mark III, and I'm recording on the Mark II. Confused? So was I when I tried to figure this out. But basically you go to the menu, and the very first um, group of settings is here, and the one you want is this one right here, the what's called the, the movie record quality. So once you've got that, you can either click on the screen or select the button. So here you have two settings. And this one is for the normal video modes. And this gray area here just describes what your current setting is. So it's an informational display. And so first let's go to slow-mo. Slow motion is indicated by high frame rate. So when you select the high frame rate, you can then uh, enable it. And when that happens, you are filming at 120 frames per second. And your playback will be at 60 frames per second. So the camera itself will be showing you the, the slow motion. Um, and I'll demonstrate that. Um, okay, so also when you're filming in slow motion you don't have any sound recording. The normal camera modes are here. Oh, okay. So you have to turn that off in order to go set any of the other camera modes. So it's a little bit klutzy to have to have a whole separate menu item for slow motion. But All right, so in this um, frame setting, the this one right here is the 60 frames per second, um, so your high definition, and um, 1080 pixels, 1080p. So if you want to go to your your 4K, you go select that one. Now that's going to be th um, 30 frames per second for your 4K. And again, it describes the actual pixel values here, 3840. Um, in your informational display. And then you have some other lower settings. 30 frames per second is the lowest it goes. 29.97, they dropped the, the cinematic mode completely. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this up to the 60 frames per second at 1080p, which is be my typical vlogging um, setting. So that's how you set these things. And then you're ready to rock and roll. Well, I couldn't resist. I gotta try the 4K out here. In my little walk back to my office after a lunch break. See what things look like. It's a cloudy day. bright though. So, so far I'm kind of liking this camera. I'm not using the stabilizer yet because I just want to try it out with the tripod handheld. So there'll be a little bit of shakiness on the image. Get a little bit of our garden area here. Okay, Let's see how that performs.
bucks. But ironically, I didn't buy it from Starbucks. There's an espresso store. And they made me a free espresso. Double espresso at that. And I captured a little bit of slow motion during the coffee process. We'll see how that looks. I forgot to put the microphone on, so I'm using the internal mic. Framing at 60 FPS. Another pretty grueling day at work. Fleshing out the requirements for this next set of features. And finally got to implement some testing for it and it turns out we're all confused about something again. So I formulated the email and sent that off to AE in China for clarification. their morning so hopefully I'll get an answer tonight maybe another question in fact that's how you have to do it when you're working with people on the other side of the planet if you don't do it that way then you have like a day and a half delay between everything that can really slow things down Okay. Okay, this is a test of the new Canon G7 Max Mark III. I've got a little microphone on there with a windshield. There's a slight breeze, so we'll see if we get the wind noise or not on that one. Um, I'm filming at 1080, 60 frames per second, which is probably the standard mode that we'd be using this, and the ND filter is on. Let's walk around a little bit. It's a bright sun. It should be focusing fine. And then we'll try a 4K video over here. See what that looks like. It over here, get into some shade right here. No, oh, that's good. <sighs> so, how do things look now? Got a nice reflection in the window, too. Let's switch to a um, different setting. So this morning, we're going to go with the vegan tamales. Red chili and zucchini. And I got them in my steaming pot. They're fairly small, so I'm making two of them. And I'll put some sour cream on those, and that's going to be my breakfast. This is Thursday morning. Carmela hasn't gotten up yet, but she will. She has to work today. just a lot of moisture in these so they kind of have lost a little bit of their form but if you're careful you can get them out and they don't look too unappetizing there we go Mexican style I'll put that on there and I can spread that around as I eat. So let's see what these taste like.
backlash and Twitter is going to go crazy on you because people are desperate to find a way to, you know, resist Trump and it does know how to focus on my face. Which means stuff that I'm shoving into my face is probably in focus too. Hello everyone. So, as you have seen, I've got my new Canon G7X Mark III in the mail. Um, and I've been shooting a little bit of slow-mo with it. I'm loving that feature. I'll show that off. I'll show you how to set the frame rates. And right now I'm going to do the mic test. So, um, I'm filming you on my old Canon G7X Mark II right now. We can also do some comparisons of those things because this has a bigger image sensor. So right out of the box at 60 FPS, um, 1080, we should be doing pretty well. Um, now one of the things about this mic um, outlet that it has in it, there's no hot mount of any kind. So what that means is that that little tab there that I just pulled out, that's where the RCA jack goes in. And this flimsy, it's very flimsy. I mean, it's this, this little cap here. That's gonna break off, obviously, after a few a few weeks because the microphone jack's gonna be sticking out of there and there'll be pressure on it back and forth. Um, so that one's, that's gonna go. I should cut it off now, what do you think? No, I wouldn't do that. Well, wait, wait until it fails. Um, so anyways, I'm going to put this camera down and set this camera up and I'm going to test out the internal mic and then I have a uh, a seraphonic mic which is just this very cute little add-on. So that doesn't take any um, support whatsoever. It'll go right into the jack and just support itself. And then I'll hook up a bracket and then, which has the the mount points, and then I'll hook up uh, my Rhodes mic. I took the uh, wind muff off, so we don't have that in the. I'm indoors. It's not going to make any difference right now. But and we'll we'll we're going to try all of these out, playing a little bit of Bach on my guitar. Now I haven't published this song yet, but maybe if I practice it enough with these three mic experiments, I'll be able to publish it. So let's give all this a try. Okay, I'm back on the Canon G7X Mark II, briefly because I'm going to manipulate the other camera setup. Um, B&H camera audio, um, mail order. I bought a, a bracket, a mounting extension bracket, so I can put the mic on a hot point there. I ordered the Canon G7X Mark III from them also, put, got on a pre-order waiting list. And they were pretty good. Um, as soon as August came around, it shipped shipped out. So what I'm going to do is um, first tack this guy in there, and I guess I want it to go this way. The wire is going to come out this way, so the mic's going to be on this side. So you well, just want to get that right. When I'm dealing with camera equipment, I never get it right the first time. I set it up and say, well, that doesn't look right. What the heck did I do? But anyways, that's kind of what you want with a mic check on this side. We'll just lock that down. And so this, this then becomes the mounting point for your tripod. Now, like I said, when I put this on the Feiyu Tech stabilizer, the gimbal stabilizer, I'm going to have to rebalance everything with this thing sitting up there and, and the new micing. So this this is the Rhodes mini mic that I'm going to use, and uh, it slides in here. Granted, I've, I've never used any of this kind of equipment before, so bear with me. We're just hoping for the best possible sound. So there we got it. It has a, a wind muff that I would certainly use when I'm outdoors, but for this, um, we're just going to point it. So I'm going to set this guy back up. In the same position, same distance, which is right here. 
um, flip my screen up, turn everything on. That's great video, huh? Be able to see my shirt. Oh, there we have it. Um, yeah. All right. Switching over. Also, I'm not. I'm not really a camera reviewer. I know just enough. I've used this G7X Mark II for about seven or eight months now, and I've taken it on some travels to the Philippines, and uh, I'm happy with it. I understand it. It understands me. Um, we've developed a relationship, and I'm not going to say goodbye to it. That would be very sad. It's going to be my backup camera. So if, for whatever reason, I need two cameras at once or whatever, I'll, I'll have a great little camera. Now the G7 Mark III, G7X Mark III, has that mic. That's a pretty big deal. That's going to greatly improve because I can record every other vlog I issue. There's going to be my daily rants or my travel with my wife Carmela, or I'm going to do a, a guitar song. I have a very eclectic set of guitar songs that I play, ranging from Americana finger picking to classical to Latin jazz to flamenco. Now, how did I get there with that? I don't know. I'll explain that someday. Um, so, so I'm not a camera reviewer, and I don't ex make any money by reviewing Canons. It's just the lowest cost one that looks like it's got the highest quality I can I can afford. Plus, the size of these things is such that it makes sense to be, to be able to travel with it. And with that little tripod, I can carry that around quite easily and uh, work with it. And I am using now a, um, a stabilizer, a Feiyutech stabilizer. I would use this for any of my main walk walkabouts. Um, um, I'll have to recalibrate this when I decide how I'm going to set the mic mics up on the new f new camera. Plus, the new camera probably has a different weight distribution. So, yeah, whenever you have new equipment, if you put it on an old stabilizer, you're going to have to do, go through the recalibration exercise. And that's not fun, my friends. That's potentially a lot of pain. So, anyway, let's uh, get on with the music and the mic test. Okay, this is mic test number one using the internal mic on the Canon G7X Mark III. I told you it's going to be rough. So I'll put a little bit of voice in here so we can compare that too. Alright, let's switch. So next I'm going to use the the uh, Ceremonic mic. Oh, it's like 30 bucks on Amazon. Um, give that a try. I mean, if this works, this would be my go-to mic because it's so portable. Plug this in over here. Of course, i got light shining in my eyes, so I can't see where to poke it. Great video content there, right, Ben? Okay. We're now on the other mic. Here we go. a little better. Bach is like, studying how to play Bach is like a lifestyle change and I'm not willing to make it yet. Okay. 
Okay, here we go with the Rhodes external mic on the Canon G7X Mark III. So that was with the Rhodes Mini external amp mic, I mean. Um, I should do a whole series of butchered Bach, I think. That might go over really well. One more thing. You know, I never have a lack of stories to tell or things to say. But this is short. I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to this channel because I'm sitting there at 235 subscribers. I don't have any real desire to monetize uh, my YouTube experience in any way. I'm, I make, I'm a professional in the software industry. I make money doing that. Um, and, but it, it, it helps me understand if you subscribe that you watched something and you liked it enough to subscribe to it. And that will motivate me to do more interesting videos. I'm, delivering some interesting content already, I think. So please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notify button so that when I do post something, you'll get a little um, notification. Subscribing to YouTube is free and easy. Um, you can use your Google account to do all of it. And um, it's, it's a fairly painless process to go through. And your account by default is private, so I don't know who you are and you can keep it that way. Um, no one, no one knows what you're watching or anything like that. I just get a, another tick on the subscription, on the subscription count. And um, if I could get to 500, then something special might kick in for me. I might be able to stay in the Amazon affiliate program. And not that I have any special expertise in um, recommending things, but when you're in that program, you can monetize the links that you can put in your descriptions. And um, that, you know, what am I going to put in there? You know, I've reviewed a snorkel. <laughs> I've reviewed a, a mask. And I've reviewed some fins and some other um, island hopping gear. And made some recommendations there. And I actually did link to those, but I'm not a member of any affiliate program. But not to say that I might not become an expert in something someday and be able to review things. Um, probably not cameras. <laughs>